I'm gonna prosper and leave you old, stuck in hating. Where's my caramel cappuccino? I'm getting impatient. No matter what you say, you can never make them hate me. Most of you olds hate me because you ain't me. This is T I versus you. T is off of baddies. Um, the season with her and um Scarface and stuff like that. Yes, that's the um season she's off of. T, this is her song, I versus you. I like this song, and it was very catchy, so go listen to it. Um, so yeah y'all got people that mad because they ain't you okay y'all got people that's mad because they ain't you they wish they can walk in your shoes they wish they can step like you they wish they could wear their drawers like you wear your drawers okay literally um with this energy here i'm definitely getting where people kind of feel like you showed out but i ain't even did nothing yet like y'all right now y'all just giving it a, a taste of where a whole lot of that came from i'm hearing it's a whole lot of money in this mother okay so y'all definitely could have recently gave people a tease of something for some of you this could have been a picture some of us could have been a video on social media uh, some of you could have been something that you have done in person and people are going back telling people through it and it's you know it's running circles running rampant right of course if this doesn't resonate with you then this is not the message for you okay um, but for the ones where this resonate with, yes, I'm seeing where people are looking at you and they are seeing you pop out. A lot of you guys here, I'm seeing somebody level up. Somebody has run through a lot of changes here. And this is after people counting you out. So these is people that thought that they were better than you. These is people thought that you weren't going to amount to anything. These people could have, you know, felt like you were inadequate, you know, the, the devil card here. These were people that was toxic. These are people that was followers. These are people that run and pack them in a group. They all got the same mindset. They all got the same opinion. That's that you, you are somebody where you're not like a yes man. You somebody where you got your own style, your own personality. You know, you stand out. You're not trying to come in and be something that you're not, or even try to be that around people. You don't need that validation. So these are people that seek outside validation, and you weren't. So that's what stood out between you and them. They needed each other to fuel each other. You needed yourself. You know. Um, and these are people that seeing you and they're oppressed. Like, I don't know, some type of video, photo, something that you guys have dropped has got another person pressed. Somebody could even be pretending like they're not looking at you on social media. So, this is somebody where they may not like her stuff on social media and you may not even know that they came. Or, you know, this is like somebody video or photo coming across your page, but you don't like it. So, this person doesn't know you've seen it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if this person would have liked it, you would have been like, oh, okay, I heard this person see my video. But, so somebody could even be pretending not to see your photos, see your pictures, or this could, if this is something in person, somebody may be pretending like they don't see something in person, they do is right dead in their face, and then low-key feel some type of way. This person's low-key pressed. Um, this is low-key getting under this person's skin here. So we got multiple, multitask or multiple streams of income, business savvy, has a favorite dream, not always available for Audi. So you may be somebody where you got multiple streams of income. A lot of you guys, you can have multiple projects that you're doing or multiple careers that you're going after. So you are in a lot of places. So you may not have a lot of time to be available for certain stuff because you guys are booked and you guys are busy. I'm seeing somebody here where you got career you focus on you could be working then you got your side gig and then you got something else that you're trying to develop on then y'all got y'all um hobbies that y'all like to do so yeah somebody got kind of got their life set up a certain way here and this is people that feel some type of way because they feel like you have gained some type of fortune you have gained some type of abundance since you have been away and it's crazy as soon as i said abundance the sun just like flashed through my window pretty sure because the cloud moved out of the way but yes, so you got people that's pressed because they thought they were better than you. They, and this can even be people that, yeah, in this song, go listen to the song by T because that's a good song. But in this song, it's like, I'm going to prosper and leave you all stuck in Haiti. Where's my caramel cappuccino? I'm getting impatient. No matter what you say, you can never make them hate me. Most of you O's hate me because you ain't me. So this is people that could have been trying to get other people not to like you like i said this is people that run in the pack run in the group this is somebody where everybody kind of got the same mindset they think alike they may dress alike look alike everybody just kind of got the same mindset everybody is built on the same morals and principles even if it's wrong you know and this is people that and this was no we got no context so this is people that you don't even talk to anymore or this is definitely people that you have put some type of distance between you and them and yeah, they've seen this here. We, I'm a prosper and leave you old stuck. So that's what happened. People were hating on you. 
they started to switch up on you this is definitely people that are jealous of you here this is people that definitely counted you out thinking that you weren't gonna mount into anything you weren't gonna be nobody now these people are oppressed because they're looking at you and you got a lot going on they from from what they're saying you seem like you got multiple streams of income you seem like you're dibbling dabbling over here and over there you're in so many different fields so many different things you got going on you seem to have so many opportunities and they were kiki key and laughing at you i'm hearing you kiki key and you get giggling you laughing and you broke you broke so this i'm not saying these people are broke but this is people that may not have as much as you or whatever you have built for yourself now it's starting to it's starting to obtain a higher length so let's say your money's starting to grow you know um let's say you um are starting to progress more in the field that you're in that's what i'm seeing here and these people are laughing at you trying to count you out um these are people that um didn't like you to be honest and then the thing is like I said before, these is people that have to be with each other to fuel each other. You don't need validation from other people. You got the validation from yourself. And that's what that's what separated you from these people. So these people thought because that you were like the only one out or they were treating you like an all ball out, you would kind of like fall off or like you would go somewhere and hide in a corner because they think their force is so big because it's a group of them or, or whatever. And it's just you. So they thinking that their force is going to be reckoned with and it's not okay it's not and like i said this is people that either see you on social media they see your photos they see your videos and they walk they keep scrolling right past like they will watch and look at it but they will keep scrolling because they don't want to like it they don't want to like this somebody that see your picture and they low-key like your picture but they don't want to like it they a hater so they're just gonna scroll past because they a hater um there's somebody that may see your video they may see something that you posted on social media they're gonna watch it look at it but they never go like it. they never go comment they're gonna continue pushing forward they don't want you to know that they've seen it but they've seen it and this is people where it's like they trying to ignore you but something that you're doing is becoming so big and so just so big that they can't ignore it anymore so you got people pressed because they looked at you like you were the eyeball out they thought that them treating you like you were the eyeball out was going to Make you go hide in the corner and forget about your dreams and ambitions. But no, it didn't do nothing but fuel you to work harder. And now these people that you no longer contact, keep in contact with or you keep at distance with. And now this person is mad because they've seen you do good. We got spoke too soon blessing daughter. So these can be people that always put down your blessings here. We got spoke too soon. So this is people that spoke too soon. They thought that, like I said, these are people that was talking crap about you. Even in groups, having conversations about you in groups. Oh, yeah, they're not going to be nothing. Yeah, they not because this and because of that. You know what I'm saying? Judging you for things that you have went through. Um, possibly judging just where you were at compared to them. All type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is the same people that seen you starting to blow up or they're starting to see you level up. And they get impressed because whatever you recently did shook them in their boots. And it's a lot more where that came from. Like, this is like you post them. Uh, I'm going to give an example. Like, um that girl she's a she's a truck driver um and she had went and did that interview and she had made a million dollars and it was her first time that she has ever made money like that before and it was like yeah so um so what what, what has happened since then since you made that million dollars and she was like so that was five years ago so that means i made that million dollars five years ago i'd have made more millions since then but five years ago that was when i made my first million and that was clapping for her and stuff like that or whatever so when they asked her in the interview with her the way the interview was coming off it kind of seemed like okay she's this person that's this truck driver the way she's describing it she's describing it as if she was almost it was just happening all over again for her when she was describing it so she's a really good storyteller um and she was you know this so yeah so where have you been ever since that man that uh that man that was your man she has some I made that five years ago and everybody started clapping for her because you you made more money since then so this is your first time ever making money like that and then you went on and made it again so that's kind of what i'm getting here where it's like people could have thought that something that you did was like just the icing on the cake like like people thought that something that you did was the icing on the cake but i'm trying to tell you it's a lot more where that comes from like people haven't seen nothing they haven't seen nothing so that's what's going on here you definitely three of swords here yes the five of swords in reverse you got people that's heartbroken you got people that betrayed you that's want to come in they want to get on your good side they want to come in and and you know fix the ice with you fix the broken ice with you because they know that they want to be on the good side if they can't beat you they want to join you that's what's going on here 
the same people that counted you out, the same people that was talking about you, all type of stuff, knocking down the things that you wanted to do. Because we got nothing, we got a lot of stories out here. So that lets me know that your ideas, your mindset, the way you think, people like knocked it down because you thought different, because you had a different mindset, because you weren't built the same way everybody else was built, because you wanted to go down a different path that everybody else around didn't understand. And what y'all did. Instead of you trying to prove yourself to these people, y'all walked away and I'm hearing the work is in the pudding. The proof is in the pudding. Y'all ain't got to do ish. You ain't got to do ish. Okay? You walked away and showed them better than you could tell them. The judgment reverse. The justice in reverse. This is a group of people that was talking about you. Trying to tell you all agreeing with each other. Everybody putting their two cents in, cackling, laughing, and all type of stuff. It was cool then, but now that you walked away, you're doing good. Now, now the judgment here, they starting to reevaluate stuff. Now they starting to look at you in a different light, realizing that they were treating you poorly. And then this page of wands reverse here. Now, and these are people that got a audacity. This is seven of stories reverse. This is people that got audacity to treat you like crap. Act like they better than you. Stick they know the bet you. And then some of the sort of reverse come back in and pretend like it never happened. Like this is people that don't apologize. They just try to reach out and say a speech and hold a conversation with you. And then you look up and they be all around you trying to come to your house. They all around you trying to hang out with you. And that wasn't they ain't been doing none of this before. But now all of a sudden they ought to have that one little conversation. They trying to ease their way in. That's what I'm seeing here because. This is people again where they knew they were against you. They don't want to come back and be like, I'm sorry, because it has to show that they were actually wrong about you. So they want to kind of come in, pretend like they've been supporting you, or just pretend like, like I said, this, like I said, if you are doing anything in person, this is people that always never supported you, overlook whatever you were doing. And then if you were doing something online or on social media or you're just posting something online or on social media, they just scroll past it, they don't like, they don't comment, they look at it, but they don't want to like it because they don't want to support you. And then when they start seeing you do even better and do good to the point where supporting you actually benefits them, then they want to come in and pretend like they've been supporting you or pretend they've been in your corner after they put you down. That's what's going on right now. You got people that seriously see you do something and it's waking them up. They're like, whoa, did you see Collective that just posted a picture on social media? People looking at it. Oh, you see Collective with their business? That product that they put out is starting to get some type of clout. People are starting to notice it. Oh, you see um, Collective that they've been um, doing this and stuff like that, working at that job? They getting a promotion now, and they about to go and take over um, and own one of the companies, own a store, you know what I'm saying, or be the head of the store. You see Collective about to be part of the headquarters, part of the people that's in the background that make the big decisions, you know what I'm saying? And this is just you... A small, like small, you know, small. Like this is, there's so much more that's about to get ready to happen for y'all that whatever this is, it's just on the icing. Like it's making me feel like that girl. She started off as a truck driver. She started off as a worker. She was just a regular truck driver working. The truck drivers, something had messed up with their system, and because of her knowledge and what she knew, she was able to use that, and she ended up being able to still bring that company money in. Then she turns around and you know she did bought her own truck and started doing it herself and turned herself into a millionaire. So I'm people people probably pretty sure when she, when they start seeing her make money, like she made her first, let's say she made her first grand. When they see her make her first grand off of her trucking business or her first little five grand, they probably thought she was doing something like, oh wow, look at that, y'all. She she just made some five k off of her trucking business. That's what I'm just using as an example. People probably thought she was doing something. They, they little did they know that she was gonna go on to turn that into a million million dollars, or that little five thousand dollars that was gonna turn into a million. So that's kind of what I'm getting with y'all, where it's like something that y'all doing. This is just like the beginning of it, like the beginning. Like within the next five years, something's gonna be completely different. Your life is gonna be different, just like she was in her interview. I made that million dollars five years ago. That was her first million dollars. That was the first time she ever even made money like that ever in her life. And she wasn't expecting to make that. But because of her knowledge, because of her believing in herself and doing her own stuff and going her own right, trusting her own path. Because there, there's plenty of people that's a truck driver, but not everybody making that type of money. You know what I'm saying? So because she trusted in herself and her plan and her vision, 
it worked out. So that's what I'm getting with y'all. Y'all trusted and y'all planning y'all vision. And look at that. Eight of stores and seven of cups. People didn't trust it. People was trying to get you all up in your head to kind of have anxiety about what you're doing. Making you feel powerless and trying to silent you for the things that you want. And then boom, now you got opportunities coming for you. Good things are happening for you. Abundance, uh, multiple streams of income, multiple th projects and different things are opening up for you. And look at that, the devil card here. You got these toxic people in the back that's seeing all of this. Seeing all these opportunities you're getting. The nine of cups reverse why they're unfulfilled in their life. King of Cups in reverse. They was being cold to you, only thinking about themselves. The three of wands reverse because they thought that your plans was unrealistic. But the two of swords, they weren't, they really, like, this is people that really didn't support you or they really didn't um, believe in you. But they could have pretend like they did, but they really did it. And the four of wands here, yes. Now these are people that want to come in and pretend like they were some type of support. I'm trying to tell y'all, so that's what's going on here. Somebody definitely is doing a big one right now I don't know who you is but continue doing what you're doing you leveling up you got people that's pressed because you were the laughing stock you were the one that was supposed to be the one you were the one that people laughed at you know your situation was funny it was hilarious until you got out of it until you made yourself better now people looking around and yeah that's the energy here so until next time